What's happened to our country and the youth of it? This truck on the right was in front of me and he took both spots to get water. There was an empty spot for me to back in or pull in, but he just sat there and took both spots. Now he's leaving. I've been here for like 10 minutes waiting. Hey guys, I'm on my way to the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, the woman's Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. I've never been here before. I was supposed to work it as security, but there was nine hour shifts and that was just too much. It was too long for me to be away from my trailer unattended and to leave the dogs. It was just too long. I could take Owen with me and apparently I have gone the wrong way. Haven't I? Let me see. All right, all right, I'm gonna go park and then I'll show you around. Okay, the parking lot's like empty and already, mm, I'm not complaining, but I have to wait in line to be told where to park. And we're still waiting. Come on, people. Look at these nice uh, ProMasters and Sprinters. Nice. Someday, maybe. Now, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, I believe, is associated with HAWA, which means um, Homes on Wheels Alliance. Yeah, it's on the back of her vest. Oh, gee, I would have been wearing one of those. Lovely. Um, it's an organization that helps people that live out on the road. Um, I had contacted them once a year ago. I'll tell you about that. Um, I was getting a welcome from one of the volunteers. But I had contacted Homes on Wheels Alliance uh, last year when I was in Texas and needed uh, the work done on my truck when I thought I needed a starter and an alternator, which is what, you know, AutoZone and O'Reilly's told me, and I ended up didn't. Um, it was just a loose bolt. But um, they do help you. They also help you, which I found out, um, if you um, need help with your pet, say your pet had an emergency, um, they do have funding for that. It's a really great group. I am, um, I'm glad that I'm part of them and I found them. So look into them. It's Homes on Wheels Alliance. And um, they do have this event every year here in Quartzsite. This is the first time they had to have it in the park. They used to have it out in the desert. And they're no longer allowed to do that. I'm going to be stopped again. Hop over Etsy. Etsy. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to show you what I got at the um, free tables. I found a cute little bohemian type rug. Owen's going to love chewing in these. I'll we'll cut them off. Um, I found, you know the game ladder ball? I found this. So now uh, I we'll have something to do sometimes. And my friend Etsy, I met up with her there. She handed me this. I told her my perception or whatever, my eyesight is, yeah. It's been better. I'm having trouble getting close enough to hook up my trailer. So I don't want people to see me using this, especially men. But I'll give it a go. If not, I'll pass it on to someone else. Um, I had gone back over after we had walked around and saw this fire extinguisher, which is a must because mine is so old and I don't even think it works. Um, and I found this. This is a drop hitch, it's supposed to go this way, or you can flip it around this way. Oops, sorry. It already has a two inch ball on it, so hopefully this will raise my trailer enough so my foot doesn't keep hitting. And then they had a cold weather gear table. Um, they had um, fleece blankets, so I got this. And this is a jacket, a black like little puffy jacket with a hood. It came with its own little travel bag, or storage bag. So I'm gonna put these two things in my bug out bag. Ever since I was in that tornado last year in Calatooza, Oklahoma, I made myself a bug out bag. Most of it just has pet food in it and some water. So I'll put those two things in that. Yeah, I think I did pretty well. Oh, wait, I even found something for Violet. She has a wee Kong. Look at that. I was going to fill them all with peanut butter because Ellie got one for his birthday. And then Owen just found that brand new black round ball Kong. I can't find that he has hidden it somewhere in the trailer. But yeah, I scored. I'm very happy with the things I got. I felt like I took too many things, but it was just one, two, three, four, five, six things. And things that I actually needed. But 
yeah, it was okay. Um, it wasn't very crowded, which I thought it would be worse. But, um, I do have some new neighbors behind me. Don't know why, with this giant desert, they park that close. I don't know who's over there. Chantelle and Sarah left. Yeah. We'll see. Well, guys, I picked my phone up to film this and forgot. So I took the this old one off. See how this one drops down like this? Just not high enough. I mean, my trailer runs flat, but not um not high enough for the foot. But look at the difference. Can you see that? Where is it? Gonna ride. Hope it's not gonna ride too high. But got it on. I haven't locked this uh, hitch lock here. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Get it, boy. Get it. Get it. Go on, get it. He has a uh, play date today with a little. A little yellow dog named Leah. We're gonna go over to Terribles to the dog park. Hopefully they play. She's about the same size as him. All my friends that I know that have small dogs and they, you know, know I have a puppy now. Oh, I can't wait to get together with you so they can play. Well, Owen's too big for them and he's too active. I feel bad because the other little dogs want to play with him, but he's just he's full energy as you can see here, kicking up dust. God, he needs a fenced-in yard. 